Star Wars fans, is Ahsoka Tano actually dead when she calls out to Rey in The Rise of Skywalker, or is she still alive and maybe communicating with her through the Force or the world between worlds? What's up guys, it's Mike, a guy who loves Star Wars here. Today we're talking about Ahsoka Tano being dead. So I know a lot of you guys don't like the sequels, so don't click away just yet. We're not really talking about the sequels. We're just talking about Ahsoka Tano's place in the timeline. Thank you! Now, what do we know for a fact? Ahsoka Tano is getting her own show that is going to involve the world between worlds and this new beyond and Thrawn having an undead army and all that crazy stuff. We also know that Ahsoka Tano is one of those people who call out to Rey at the end of The Rise of Skywalker when she has to rise and defeat Palpatine. Rise. But what we don't know is whether or not Ahsoka Tano is alive when she is calling out to Rey, maybe through the Force, or again, like I said, the world between worlds. That whole scene alone is pretty strange because Ahsoka Tano being there in the first place calling out to Rey makes no sense because she says, I am all the Jedi, and all of these Jedi are calling out to Rey. When Ahsoka Tano has told us many, many times in the Star Wars canon that she is no Jedi. I am no Jedi. But here's where things get very interesting. Ahsoka Tano is going to be going into the world between worlds in her own show later this year. And the leaks and rumors are saying that she's going to be fighting a young Anakin Skywalker on Mustafar. She might be trying to kill Thrawn before him and Ezra disappear into the new beyond. She is trying to change the past. But what all these events are leading to is Ahsoka Tano realizing that some things cannot be changed. Anakin Skywalker turning to the dark side, becoming Darth Vader, and eventually killing Palpatine. Somehow Palpatine returned. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 What's supposed to happen and has to happen, it is destiny. She'll also find out that Ezra's sacrifice sending himself and Thrawn into this new beyond had to happen. And what Ahsoka is going to find out going into the world between worlds is that things cannot be changed in the past. And a lot of Star Wars fans were really concerned about this because the world between worlds really just allows anybody to be brought back to life. No one's ever. And Dave Filoni was like, that's not how the world between worlds is going to work. I'm going to explain it in the Ahsoka show and explain why Ezra saving Ahsoka had to happen and it was destiny and she has something to fulfill in the new beyond. Now, fulfill your destiny. So yes, I might have just blown your mind telling you that Ahsoka Tano is going to be facing off against a young Anakin Skywalker on Mustafar or trying to kill Thrawn before him and Ezra disappear into the new beyond. But now prepare for your mind to be blown a little bit more. What if she goes into the future and actually communicates to Rey, finding out that Rey defeating Palpatine is one of those has to happen moments and it is destiny. So what if Ahsoka Tano isn't actually calling out from the afterlife in that scene in The Rise of Skywalker? What if she's calling out from the world between worlds? There have been major reports that Daisy Ridley wants to come back to Star Wars, and a lot of us have thought maybe there's going to be another sequel era movie. But what if everything that all these fans are speculating about is completely wrong, and Daisy Ridley coming back to play Rey is actually going to be in the Ahsoka show in a World Between Worlds scene where Ahsoka is calling out to Rey in The Rise of Skywalker. Now, not only would this be awesome because, first of all, she's going into the future in the World Between Worlds to talk to Rey, who's about to defeat Palpatine, it's also awesome because it would confirm that Ahsoka Tano isn't dead when she's calling out to Rey in The Rise of Skywalker, meaning that Ahsoka Tano survived the events of the sequels. Now many of you are probably like, how can Ahsoka survive the events of the sequels? She'll be like a bajillion years old. But what a lot of people don't actually realize is sure, the time gap between Episode 6, Return of the Jedi, and Episode 7, The Force Awakens, is like 28 to 30 years. The events of the sequel trilogy are only about a year and a half long. 
So if Ahsoka Tano can survive the 30 years between episode 6 and episode 7, then I think she could survive an extra year and a half. And then, in a post-sequel world, you could see sequel characters like Rey and Finn start a new Jedi Order, but they could also include characters that we know and love, like Ahsoka Tano and, of course, Grogu. So do you think that Ahsoka Tano is going to survive the events of the sequel trilogy and actually just be calling out to Rey through the Force or through the World Between Worlds in The Rise of Skywalker? And do you think that Ahsoka Tano is going to help build up a new Jedi Order because she knew all the flaws from the Jedi Order during the Republic that Rey doesn't know and Finn doesn't know? So do you think that Ahsoka Tano is the key to building a good new Jedi Order in a post-sequel world? Tell me in the comments, smash like if you like this video, hit subscribe, and hit that bell so you get notified every time I post a video in my pretty face, which will open the recommended feed of yours. A lot of those questions will be answered by the end of this year after we see the Ahsoka show itself. And I can't wait for it, and I'm sure you guys can't wait for it, and of course we'll be breaking down all the episodes of that show and The Mandalorian and The Bad Batch, and we'll be doing leaks and rumor videos and all that fun stuff on this channel. We also go live every Tuesday and Thursday at 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on the channel, so stick around for all of that by hitting that subscribe, and may the force be with you, always.